Close your eyes and watch your breath. Keep watch over the breath and keep watch over the mind to make sure that it stays with the breath. In other words, you use the mind to train the mind to watch the mind. It means you've got to have a sense of priorities inside which part of the mind wants to be in charge or should be in charge. Right now you want to put the part that's aligned with concentration, mindfulness, discernment, that's aligned with heedfulness and the desire to be skillful. You want that part of the mind to be in charge. It's like the mind is a corporation. Sometimes you have the person in charge, but they don't really see what's going on in the actual factory. And so they have all kinds of good intentions, but the factory keeps creating shoddy goods. You've got to have the president of the corporation down looking at what's going on in the factory, what's creating all the stuff that's coming out in your thoughts, in your words, in your deeds. Is it up to standard? Are the workers doing what they should be doing, or are they playing tricks on you? Are they cheating the company? As the president of the company, you have to have ears and eyes that are as big as the company. In other words, watch what you're doing at all the time, all the time. Sometimes you hear people say, why are this concerned with minutia? Why are you watching your individual words and deeds? Why don't you just open up to the emptiness around us? Well, the emptiness around us is just a perception. Well, your actual words and deeds are what shows what's really going on in the mind. So you've got to be careful. If you're careful about this, okay, then that care extends to the other things, noticing other ways in which you are creating unnecessary suffering for yourself. And this is the line of inquiry that really gets to the, the main issue. That we all want happiness, but why is it that we create suffering? What is it that we're missing? Where are we ignorant? So keep probing around. You could have a perception of emptiness or oneness and still create a lot of suffering. So the question is, what am I doing? What am I saying? What am I thinking that's adding to unnecessary suffering? And follow that line of inquiry in. And in other words, instead of the president of the company just dreaming up there of emptiness and oneness, you actually get out there and look at what's being produced by the factory, all these fabrications going in the mind, and then you make changes. Now we've got the right people in charge, and they're in charge all the way down. They're genuinely in charge, not just in, in name, but in deed. So keep careful watch over what you say, you do, and think. <clears throat> keep careful watch of what's going on in the mind in the, in the present. Because that's where all the genuine decisions are being made. 